All right, so I thought I'd do a little quick video while I'm sitting here waiting on a train. Um, anyways, today in St. Pete, there was a um, officer involved shooting two St. Pete uh, police officers were shot and killed um, in line of duty. And I was thinking about it. I'm in comm law this semester. And I started thinking about what kind of had some discussions about the Second Amendment with some friends, and I mean some classmates, and, uh, you know, the Second Amendment to have been interpreted in uh, hell or in other cases to provide a uh, personal right to bear firearms uh, irrespective of service and militia um, is a pretty liberal interpretation of the Second Amendment. Um, it reads, um, a well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of the states, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I may have dropped or missed a word there, um, but that's the basic gist of it. And, you know, the whole first part of the uh, amendment is that um, you know, a well-regulated militia is necessary for the security of the state. Um, conservatives and gun, you know, NRA-type advocates like to focus on the second half, uh, which is great. I mean, I, I think you need to focus on the whole thing. Um, and, you know, the, the whole thing and read, as read in its entirety is that, um, you know, the idea is that you have a well-regulated militia, so, uh, you know, people, that a volunteer force, uh, who is, um, not necessarily in, like, the armed forces, but is going to, um, you know, kind of like a community watch with guns, um, but that they're well-regulated, so they're not just a bunch of, um, you know, vigilantes running around with rifles, um, and that, you know, they're necessary for the security of the state. Um, not that, you know, I, th I think that if the founders had really wanted an individual's right to keep and bear arms, they would have, um, you know, part of the Bill of Rights would have been, uh, you know, each person having the right to his own security has the right to keep and bear arms. I mean, that is a very plain, uh, you know, personal uh, right to keep and bear arms, um, but that's not what was written.